And welcome into getting help from Uncle Sam. If you've been watching the show regularly, you know about a month and a half ago, during the mid-session of the, this session of the legislature, we had a representative on to talk to us about how things were progressing. Well, now this year's legislative session has come to an end. We're bringing them back. It's Representative Mike Holmes, District 31. Correct. Part of Elmore and Natauga County. Part of Natauga County, yes. It's quite a, you got a big area there, don't you? It, it is, uh, and it, they're all uh, equal population-wise, about 45,000 voters in, it, in each district, but uh, this one geographically is pretty large. Most of Elmore County and, and the Marbury part of uh, Altauga County. Well, this is your, now you've, this is your second term going no, through? No, my fir actual you, first you full first term. Full term, that's I, right. I served only eight weeks in the, in the 2014 session mm -hmm. uh, after the special election, so and then was reelected in, in 2014 so a full four years. So we can say right now you really got your feet wet, yes. so to speak. <laughs> well, let us know. The, the session's come to an end, and I guess let's, the, the good, the bad, the ugly. It, let us know what, what happens. Okay, let's talk, let's talk about good first. Okay. Um, I think one of the things that I've, I've been expecting to happen and hadn't seen until this year is we actually did the job that we're, our primary function that we're elected for is uh, setting the budgets for the mm -hmm. coming fiscal year. We, we did that, we started working on it early, uh, we got all the, all the hard heavy lifting done out of the way, got our part of it to the Senate before halfway point. Hmm. And the Senate uh, didn't get it out as fast as we would have liked, but they got it out in plenty mm -hmm. of time before the closing. And so we didn't get into that final crunch that we've been into the other two terms that I've served toward the end where everything's revolving around the budget in those last few days and you get little else done. Uh, we, were, we were able to get those done early. Uh, no, not everybody was happy. In fact, very few people were happy. Uh, everybody was comfortable and that's, that's, the, that's the facts we had to deal with in both mm -hmm. budgets. The education budget was in much better condition as we expected. Uh, the revenue stream from the previous year had exceeded a little bit the projections, so the new projections gave some room there. So that one was easier. The general fund was, again, pretty much flat. So we had to mm -hmm. pretty, pretty much do level funding kind of budgeting in the general fund. And so that, that, the, the big exception from that is coming in Medicaid, as you would expect. Right. That's, that's the looming monster that keeps growing year after year after year. So uh, with, with those exceptions, we got everything done relatively early and, and relatively smoothly. And that's, that's part of the good news. Mm -hmm. The bad news, if there's any bad news? <laughs> <laughs> there's, there, there's some disappointing news. Uh, you know, okay. you, you, of all the battles that you fight, you don't, you, you're lucky in the legislature, I'm learning, if you, if you hit better than 500, you're doing really well to sure. get your, your special legislation uh, done. And, and I had a couple that, that got done, a couple that did not get done. Uh, many, many people have heard about Lenny's Law. Uh, it, it has to do with the cannabis oil, oil, oil uh, product that uh, is showing promise in uh, reducing or eliminating seizures in children. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the predecessor, Carly's Law, was passed the first year I was there. Okay. Uh, and it, it was passed through a, a, an a FDA approved uh, testing situation at the University of Alabama, Birmingham. And that's well along the way, but it was more limiting than anybody had anticipated with the number of, of children they could take into the study. Mm -hmm. So we had a lot of kids suffering that had no route to, to get to the product legally in Alabama. Right. So we came back this year, and interestingly enough, Lenny's Law, the way I got involved, her family were constituents of mine in Elmore County. I'll be. And uh, so we got to be very close, Facebook and, and email and personal friends during this process. and and. Um, we decided to come back with it and expand it, expand the availability to some of these other children. And, mm -hmm. and this, that, that law did pass this time, and I'm very pleased to report that. And it's, it will, it, the governor signed it uh, eight or ten days ago, so it's, it's effective now. Uh, that, was, that, was, uh, that was one of the, 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 the good ones. Um, I had another, another bill that was called Deputy Hart Bill that did not uh, experience that, that fate. We, it was the second year in a row we did not get that passed and had to do with uh, trying to tighten up the um, graduated driver's license laws mm -hmm. to give uh, patrol officers a, a more incentive to to um, actually enforce that law stronger to, to get to underage teen, uh, class one, class two drivers that have uh, certain restrictions that they can only drive. Uh, this this accident that happened in my district um, uh, involved 14, right. four teenagers un a, under and six, and 16 mm -hmm. and killed a deputy and killed mm -hmm. three of the teenagers. And so this, this law is designed to try to save some lives and the lives that we would be saving would be mostly teenage lives, which is a, is a good thing. Uh, we'll get it done eventually. It's not that anybody's opposed to it. It's just a matter of priorities and getting the legislation through the process. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the disappointments. 
ugly. Um, you know, all the politics swirling around, uh, the, the, uh, um, all the charges are flying both uh, criminally, civilly, and, and uh, just ethics investigations around the Capitol. Uh, that's, that's, that's been one of the ugly things to watch from both sides. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those things that it just needs to play itself out. I, that's my feeling, yeah. yes. And, yeah, and I mean we're, we're well into that. As of today, you know, when we're recording this, we're well into that with jury selection on the Speaker of the House um, mm. uh, grand jury trial. It'll be starting uh, next week on, on right. that. The jury is being selected now. The other investigation going on in the governor's office is both, uh, as I understand it, state, state investigation as well as federal investigation mm -hmm. going on there. And fullness of time will, will tell us what's going to happen there. Mm -hmm. In the same time, uh, our, the House body has uh, passed a, a bill to put some definition behind what we really have to do. We've never impeached a governor in Alabama. Right. So uh, we, we, we passed a bill that actually gives us some guidelines. I happen to serve on the Judiciary Committee, which is, will be handling that. Mm -hmm. uh, that, 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 that uh, Petition passed. Uh, we needed 21 signatures to bring to move it forward, and they were actually, I think, 23 or 25 signatures mm -hmm. on that. So that's moving forward, and, we'll, and the work will begin in the Judiciary Committee here in the next couple of weeks to start having a look at that how we would conduct our investigation be before deciding to go ahead with impeachment charges. That's good. Well, listen, we appreciate all that you do. Uh, I know it's uh, it's not an easy job. You know, a lot of times well, people think, oh my God, it's just a part-time <laughs> job. Yeah, it's I hear that it's a more lot. than part-time. <laughs> It really if is. If you're going to do your job and do it right, if you do it, if you're going to do it right, it's yeah, it's it's very demanding, and and, and it can be very Jack is it can be very rewarding. And that's what it's uh, supposed this, to uh, be. This this uh, lineage law that we just passed and the Carlisle law that 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 was very emotional and very rewarding, and and that's the kind of thing that makes you mm -hmm. want to keep coming back every day. It's got to be a win-win. Absolutely. 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 Well, thank you so much for all you do, and just remember this, and we've said this time and time again. If you want to have anything or have any FaceTime with your representatives. The best time to do it is when the legislature is not in session because then they have time to listen to your concerns. And we'll be right back right after this.